Good evening and welcome to the 23rd 40 Under 40 celebration. I'm Marnie Nesher, president of the Central New York Business Journal and I'll be one of your hosts this evening as we showcase 40 individuals who are making a difference in our community. What a year we have all experienced with the pandemic. As a result, this year's event looks and feels different. Even though this is virtual and we will not get to see each of you in person, this year is more important than ever to recognize and honor these incredible individuals. Now's your time to sit down in a comfortable chair with family and friends or grab a cocktail or beverage as we introduce this year's 40 Under 40 Class of 2020. First, let us take a moment to thank a few of our sponsors. Without them, there would not be a 40 under 40. Thank you for believing in and honoring our business and community leaders. We're grateful for your support and glad to have you join us this evening. Thank you to presenting sponsor, m and Bank, media partners, the Central New York Business Journal and Cumulus Media, Award sponsor Cooley Group, event created and produced by Biz Events, and headshots photographed by Anna Gill Photography. Now I'd like to introduce Alan Naples, Regional President of M&T Bank, to say a few words. Thank you all for joining us this afternoon. I'm Alan Naples, Regional President for M&T Bank. On behalf of all my colleagues, we are excited to again be part of the 23rd Annual 40 Under 40 Awards. This year, with the challenges we have faced, we have learned a lot about ourselves, our communities, and the importance of leadership. When confronted by crisis, great leaders step up, stand tall, and pave the way forward. They also listen and learn and adapt to best serve the needs of others. The 2020 40 Under 40 exemplify this type of leadership. They put in the work necessary, always going above and beyond to drive positive change here and in our community. These young professionals serve as examples for all of us. Our team at m Bank shares their passion. We get involved as volunteers and we invest in our neighbors through our charitable grants and lending. We strive to understand what is important to our customers, our communities, and our colleagues. Like this year's 40 Under 40, we believe our community is at its best when we all work together. As we navigate the uncertainty that remains ahead of us, I'll continue to look to the Central New York Business Journal's 40 Under 40 for inspiration on how to best serve, lead, and find balance. And I encourage others to join me in following their example. Again, congratulations and have a great evening. We know 40 Under 40 could not happen without our sponsors, nominators, but it also could not happen without our judges. This year we received more nominations than ever. It's an extremely competitive process. These independent judges have the task of reading through each nomination, looking at each one subjectively, and ranking the information based on a standard scoring sheet. It's much harder than it sounds. Just ask the judges. Please put your hands together to thank our judging panel. Beth Coughlin, Vice President, Market Manager at Cumulus Media. George Kuhn, Owner and President of Drive Research. And Vance Mariner, Research Director at the Central New York Business Journal. Now I'm pleased to introduce Tammy Palmer from Spectrum News. Oh, thank you, Marty. I'm happy to be back and really counting my blessings because if this event had been in person, I would have had to stay up all night for the election. My head would be spinning in this way. I could do both and get some sleep. You know, finding a way to make this happen was important because you're kind of a big deal and I'm a little bummed out that I 
can't watch you dance your way to the stage with those big smiles, but I certainly encourage you to uh, dance on your own at home when I say your name. I really know how this feels because I'm a 40 Under 40 alumni and it was a special moment for me in 2007. But this has been such a challenging year for all of us. I hope this just is the motivation you need to stay on track. I have the lucky job of introducing all these outstanding civic-minded movers and shakers, recognizing your hard work for the community. We need it more than ever now. 40 names are a lot, so I'll have some help. Steve Gorzinski, Administrative Vice President of Commercial Banking for m and he's going to share the introductions with me. Good evening, Steve. Thanks, Tammy. I am glad to be back again this year. I must admit, it is a rare occasion that Alan Naples and I get to do this together. Are you ready, Steve? All right. Here we go. We begin with Rebecca Alexander. She's 33 years old and a physical therapist with Upstate Medical University. Jennifer L. Elfieri, 39, a Chief Judiciary Officer at Tompkins Financial Advisors. Alexander J. Bem, 34 years old, the Executive Director for Clear Path for Veterans. Nicole Chidzi, 32, the Marketing, Communications, and Relations Manager at Syracuse Orthopedic Specialists. Twenty-nine-year-old Georgia G. Crinnan, a trust and estate attorney with Bousquet Holstein. Twenty-eight-year-old Decca Dansel, the manager of Bias, Response, and Education at Syracuse University. 35-year-old John Eckmeyer, the Vice President and Chief Underwriting Officer at Utica National Insurance Group. 32-year-old Kara J. Gemmel, Director of Independent Living at the Nottingham, a Loretto community. 39-year-old David Graham, the Digital Operations and IT Social Media Manager at CH Insurance. 37-year-old Nick Grimmer, the Director of Giving Strategies at the Community Foundation of Herkimer and Oneida Counties. 1. Congratulations, Steve, you are up. Moving along now on our list. Next is Suzanne Gruing Angararo, age 34. She's the founder and principal of Vason Studio. 1. Next, we have Brendan Hall, age 36. Brendan is a senior engineer at CHA Consulting. Next, Kate Hauck. She's 39 years old and is the Executive Director of David's Refuge. 38. Davon Hunter, age 38, Program Coordinator with Syracuse Community Connections. Jasmine Jones, age 35, licensed psychologist, ADHD and Autism Psychological Services and Advocacy.
Next is Caitlin Creasel, age 33, financial advisor, Hanson's Advisory Services. Diana LaMatina Abdella, age 39. Communications Coordinator, New York State Assembly, Assemblyman Bill Magnarelli. Next is Jamie Lawler Wager, age 32. Local Sales Manager, Cumulus Media. Brian Ledette Jr., age 38, Assistant Professor, State University of New York, College of Environmental Science and Forestry. Next is Adam Mastrolio, age 38. He's an attorney with Bond, Schenick and King. We're halfway through, going strong, quick and easy, right? And I will continue with Travis Moss, 39 years old, a managing partner at Seed Planning Group. Thirty-nine-year-old Courtney M. Merriman, partner and co-chair of Women's Forum at Barclay Damon. Thirty-seven-year-old Beth Meyer, the director of group benefits at M&T Insurance Agency. Lauren M. Monfort. She's thirty-eight, a partner at Hennessy and Monfort Law Office, and also the owner of Beer Belly Deli. Thirty-eight-year-old Jane Nicholson, a senior planning associate for MRB Group. Thirty-nine-year-old Jimmy L. Oliver Jr., a deputy commissioner in the city of Syracuse for Syracuse Parks and Recreation and Youth Programs. Dr. Brian Rayfiel, he's 39, the founder, president, and a physician for Empire Dermatology. 39-year-old Brian Rapp, a co-owner and vice president of Bill Rapp Buick GMC Subaru. Dr. Johanna N. Rogers, she's 38, and the Vice President of Racial Equality and Social Impact for Center State CEO. 39. And Patrick E. Rohe, he's 34, and the CEO of Rockbridge Investment Management. Steve brings us home with the rest. Steve. Next is Christina Sove, age 38. She's the CEO of Cooperative Federal. 38. Next is 38-year-old Eric A. Shep, president of Shep Family Funeral Homes.
Nick Shires, age 38, partner in charge of tax services, Danable and McKee. Emily Taylor, age 27, Senior Research Analyst, Drive Research. Nicole Tesca, age 38, Partner with Bowers & Company CPAs. Aslam A. Tibet, MD, Clinical Assistant Professor of Emergency Medicine and Pediatrics, Upstate Medical University. Aaron Wyman, age 39, Owner and CEO, Nuns Home Medical Equipment. Katie Wadilla, age 38, Vice President and Director of Marketing, Water Safari Resort. Kimberly J. Zakaria, age 39, Toxicologist at SRC. Jordan Zapizic, age 25, Founder and Executive Director at On My Team 16. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for the 40 under 40 class of 2020. Congratulations. All right, everybody clap at home. Congratulations to a group of amazing people. I can't thank you enough for all you do. And I cannot end this without reminding everyone of the sponsors who helped make this happen. Our gold sponsor, Bill Rapp Superstore and the Syracuse Auto Dealers Association. Thank you. Our silver sponsors, Danable and McKee, Loretto, Syracuse Orthopedic Specialists, and Tompkins Financial Advisors. Our bronze sponsors, ADHD and Autism Psychological Services and Advocacy, Boos K. Holstein, Bowers & Company, Barclay Damon, Cooperative Federal, Drive Research, MRB Group, Nuns Home Medical Equipment, Rockbridge Investment Management, and Syracuse University. Thank you so much for letting me into your homes and offices tonight, and congratulations really for the achievement. Thank you again for all of your hard work. That is all for me, but before you go, Marty Nesher is back with some closing remarks. Hi, Marty. Thank you, Tammy and Steve. You did a great job with all those names. Thank you again to our sponsors, especially M&T Bank, our presenting sponsor. Don't forget you can share 40 Under 40 with friends and colleagues if they missed it this evening. A detailed article on each honoree is in this week's print and digital version of the Central New York Business Journal. Once again, thank you. Stay healthy and have a good night. <laughs>